Hi everyone, welcome back to Catch Up at Duel. And I'm Peter Hoy. And today, uh, I have a very special, uh, beautiful family with me. Yeah. Uh, let me introduce Siang. Hello. Yeah, he's currently a mission chairperson. Ooh. So if you want to go for mission, can go and find him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then Lynette. Hello. Yeah. And Lynette currently helping in the Christ kit, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then <laughs> we had the small little one. Not really little. Lucas. Hello. Hello. You want to show your pictures? Your drawing? Uh, you didn't bring. Yeah, he has one there. <laughs> Okay, okay. Today, uh, we will look into the passage from the uh, one of the letters uh, that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. It's from First Corinthians chapter six. Yeah, First Corinthians chapter six. Okay, uh, I believe you all already dive into the world, right? Read it. Uh, maybe you can share any, any, any like takeaway or thought as you read this passage, especially. Um. Yeah, I, I think there were a lot of uh, um, downloads from the Lord that we got off this. Uh, my wife is a very structured person, yes. so she literally broke it up into three full parts for us. For us to discuss and for us to uh, volunteer to speak about. <laughs> so I would defer to her to kind of walk through... Uh, what we have uh, kind of uh, gleaned. Um, <clears throat> okay, so basically, there are three parts from what I, I what spoke to me. Mm. One is lawsuits amongst believers, right? And the other is honouring our bodies. Mm. And at the end of it, I think it's honouring God, glorifying Him. And mm. I think that is like the end goal. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so in terms of lawsuits, you know, it's like, why do we need lawsuits amongst believers? You know, like why can't you do it outside of of court, for example? Why would you, you know, be um, wanting to put a fellow Christian into that situation? You know, and the thing that came to me was actually, what would Jesus do in a situation like this? Yeah. So that that was my thoughts, lah, for the. The first portion. Yeah, I think for us with uh, a little boy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> being able to you know frame the mm -hmm. the passage in terms that he can understand. So what's lawsuits? You know, to a nine year old, to a twelve year old, <coughs> doesn't mean anything, lah, Right. Mm. So for us to be able to kind of explain what that actually means to a little boy was uh, challenging and this passage also had some challenging um, shall we say RA portions also so <laughs> so we, we we had to frame it so that uh, the little one understands mm. right and I think that's also maybe a, a challenge for families out there also in CMC too um, because the 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 Bible can be quite uh, I think graphic is not the right word, lah, but it can be quite direct as far as, um, you know, when it talks about sexual sin, fornication and all that, you know. How do you explain fornication to a 12-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, you see, still don't quite understand despite our many nights of explanation. <laughs> Are you sure it's my knee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, you know, but... but um, the discussions were good. The discussions were um, healthy, I would say. Um, not very intense, um, but yeah. So so it was interesting for us as a family to get in together and to discuss these things, and for for him to appreciate, you know, uh, the heart of God through the passage to understand where God is coming from and what God actually wants us to do. <coughs> yeah. How you bring it across to Lucas? Because the first time I remember when I said, Oh no, this passage, like you say, you know, RA, how is Lucas going to understand it? Um, <coughs> Mr. Tan, maybe you can explain. Master Tan, okay. What are your thoughts? Um, that we have to honor God with our bodies. Mm -hmm. 
and by doing that is like we have to um stay healthy mm. cause then if we're not healthy then we can't go to church and then we can't serve God mm. Mm. <coughs> yeah you're right it's our body is a uh, God's creation you know God create and then the most important is I think this passage also say that God buy us with a price which mm. is that through his son Jesus Christ mm. he already cleansed our body he already redeemed us then uh, we must make use of this body not for the worldly thing for our own desire you know like for me I like to eat or oh, hantam anything go inside <laughs> You know, but we have to take care of the body, yeah, and make the temp uh, body. He explained this is body like the temple of God, mm-hmm. where's the spirit of God inside. I think that's the most important that to aware that the spirit of God in us, yeah. Then in everything that we do, you know, then uh, it will, th- this Holy Spirit will guide us, yeah. So this it's interesting that for me this this one is actually is quite tough. I mean like Paul as a his apostle, he concerns of the church. Mm-hmm. And there's a certain issue in actually if you look into this context, uh, uh, there's an issue in the the the, 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 the church in Corinth. And I think up to today also this issue is still exists in the church. Mm-hmm. Yeah if I see the pictures it's like you know there is group of people in the church who say that oh I'm now a Christian I'm coming to church, but the way of they live their life, they still live in the sinful life, yeah. as if they before they're being renewed by Christ, right? And uh, this uh, sexual immorality is just one of the example of the sinful life that the Christians still live. Yeah, um, I, I think it goes beyond that whole sexual immorality. It's how mm-hmm. we actually live. I agree totally with you. Um, one thing that we've also talked with him was, you know, sexual. Um, well, God made men and then women, right? Mm. And then for procreation. So actually, that in itself, in a marriage, is sacred, right? Yes. So, so we've also gone through that with him. But anything outside of that, that's the issue. Yes. Right? And like you said, that, you know, God created our bodies. So once we become a believer, then the Holy Spirit lives in us. Mm. So because it's a sexual, if in terms of sexual mm. immorality, it's sin against the body. And the fact that the Holy Spirit is in us, I thought that's a scary thought, you know, that, yeah. wow, it, it, you are sinning against what's inside of you. Yeah, so, so I thought that kind of hit me as well. And then with the lawsuits, right, I was just thinking, you know, believers, actually it's also the enemy coming to sow this court mm. amongst believers yes. you know and that's how that little door opens there's a crack and that's when the enemy comes in right yeah yes. that's what I, yes. I thought I think you are right uh, these things all the things happen in this uh, the, the church lah, huh? mm. and like I say during the the Paul time even now all these things can cause dispute yes. in the church and actually the sin is, is quite scary lah. If you if we see from the first Corinthians chapter five, uh, verse one, uh, Paul mentioned, it is actually reported there is a sexual immorality among you, and of a kind of does not occur even among the pagan. You know, even the pagan, the the non-believers cannot think about this. But then you in the church, you doing this. What is this? You know. So there are some people concerned. Hey, there's these people among us. What should we do with these people? You know. Yeah. So there's there's uh. It's back again to, I mean like from me, uh, I believe all of us, like those who, uh, 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 <clears throat> who probably Holy Spirit speak to us and then to let, give us a wisdom, how then we, you know, like you say, to apply this, this you know, uh, because sometimes uh, we, we trap in this mindset, oh, I shouldn't judge, you know, we shouldn't judge people or yeah. this, right? We, 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 maybe I used to hide behind this actually to cover, I don't want to say lah, you know. <laughs> yeah, but here Paul actually reminds the people, we have to speak out to, to them. Yeah, we have to speak out to them. <clears throat> I don't know whether you encounter experience before like this, I mean like among the, 
the, the, the in the community that's someone that you need to remind them of their maybe you know to correct them and walk into God's way the lower the difficult it's a it's a difficult conversation to have right mm. or even for the pastors also to step up in the pulpit and rebuke the the church if something is not right right in the in the sight of God it's it's very difficult and, and you know uh, Pastor Edwin also this morning spoke about grieving not the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. right yes. spoke about the church of Sardis also right about how they are dead although their reputation was yes. yeah. very good in the eyes yeah. of everyone yeah. so a, a little similar to this right in the sense that you know we our reputation may be good however if our you know, the Holy Spirit doesn't uh, lead the church in, in righteousness and in holiness, then we are dead. Similarly for ourselves as well, right? Mm. To the world, we may be seem to be doing the right thing. Mm. Right. But actually, yeah. we are doing all these things. Huh? Mm. And Paul, as usual, is very uh, specific about the sins, right? Mm. You, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. you won't inherit the kingdom of God. <laughs> as clear as that, you do this, you won't inherit right? I wonder that we, we can speak in that way now. <laughs> Whether the church member is like, drop. <laughs> Can you imagine Pastor Edwin, you, you, you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But but what I found a bit interesting was, you know, if you go to verse 18, uh, mm. it says, flee fornication. Right, every sin. Then um, the the passage in the Bible that brought uh, that that occurred to me was, you know, um, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's it's a. Uh, I was comparing the the two, right? That when it comes to the devil, you need to resist the devil, mm. right? With the word of God, the Holy Spirit, and then he'll flee from you. Mm. But when it comes to Sin of fornication, uh, it tells you to run from it, you know. Yeah. It tells you to run. You don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, thinking whether there are, Paul is trying to say, you know, don't try to be smart and, whoa, you know, mm -hmm. I'm the hero, I will resist. Because he, uh, yeah. he's not telling you to go and resist. He tells you run away from it because at the end of the day, you, you know, maybe you're human. You might fall the flesh to is, it. Yeah, the right. spirit is strong, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so run away from temptation. Yeah. Don't, don't try to be a hero and mm. think you know, like you know, be in the midst of temptation, thinking that you are strong and you can, you know, resist it. Right. Correct. 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 Yeah. Okay. I think you had a good example last night. I did. On Lucas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on gaming. Yeah. Remember on gaming? Oh, yeah, I thought that yeah. was quite a good example. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you want to talk to Go it? Ahead. You talk to it. Yeah. So, so he was. We were trying to explain the difference last night, right, yeah. between the two. And then what Xiang was saying was, um, say you have a f group of friends who, I don't know, they game, they smoke, whatever, mm. right? So you tell yourself, okay, don't worry, I can resist the temptation and you spend all your hours with them resist mm -hmm. resist one day you will fall yes right but it's more the i know i shouldn't be doing this okay it's an addiction i run so i flee i leave yeah. you know so you you you, you not like, even like go and get correct. close to you don't that. get in yeah don't get yourself into don't get caught in that situation mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i think that's right. La. That's why in the Lord's Prayer, lead us not into temptation. We ask God not lead, but we lead ourselves to the temptation. I, I think it's a reminder for us. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else that y you, you, you get from this? So, so back to the topic about uh, serving God, mm. right? Uh, our bodies as uh, living sacrifices. Mm. So again, back to the little one, we were trying to explain to him about about how you know you need to uh, honor your body and honor God, service of God. He has he hasn't been feeling too well lately, what and you because say? <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, he hasn't been able to serve Christ's kids, mm. right? So so trying to bring to reality the 
what it actually means, uh, right? Because if you are not healthy in body, you can't serve God, mm. right? You can't do His work for the extension of His kingdom. Maybe, okay, uh, you can still pray and all that, but you can't really do, give it your 100%. Yes, right? there's more that they can, God can use when the body is... Well, I totally agree with you because uh, now on and off sometimes I also feel that my body is like, oh, then I realize that, mm, the way I eat, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's true that we have to jaga this. So it's back to the this thing, uh, you know. Uh, for me, it's a reminder like when God saves us, He saves us free, right? Free from sins, all this, you know. And but as a human, sometimes our 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 flesh is very weak. Uh, we take for granted that God's grace, you know. Mm-hmm. Then we keep live on our sinful life <laughs> just for the so uh galatians chapter 5 which is paul also wrote this uh verse 13 to 14 that uh it came to me like, when i prepared this galatians 5 13 13 to 14 uh, it said this you my brothers were called to be free but do not use your freedom to indulge in the sinful nature, rather serve one another in love. So this is a reminder for me like, as I read this, you know. And Paul also in this uh, passage also say, right, not everything is, everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a reminder though, like as much as God still give us the free will, but we don't use that free wills to continue to indulge ourselves in a sinful way. This is actually, what is the contact in that, in that? church, Corinth, and also I believe is we always, there's this kind of issue in, in, in Christian journey, like even the church today. It's really a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it goes beyond this, it's really how we live our life. Mm. And I think one really key thing that we came up a lot when we were discussing this was, what would Jesus do? Mm-hmm. Very simple, mm-hmm. you know, what would Jesus do? Mm-hmm. You know, in all situations. And, and I was just reading Romans 12, 1, right? Mm-hmm. You offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Uh. So the key word for me was, what pleases God? What's pleasing? What's, what how do you define as pleasing, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it says a sacrifice. So what's a sacrifice? Giving up something, right? Mm-hmm. And it has to be a very conscious um effort to do it you know so do we then say that we have to set ourselves apart to have that consciousness to intentionally do it or oh it's okay you know the world is mm-hmm. like this a little bit i can don't worry i can get in you know it, mm-hmm. it's no big deal kind of thing mm-hmm. yeah yeah i think you to add on this i believe it must be consciously and intentionally mm-hmm. if you Look all the way from the in the Bible, even from the Old Testament, when God instruct when the people want to bring the offering, He's very detailed. Yes. I want like this. I want like this. I want like right. this. And everything have to be sanctified. I think this right. concept is all the way when Paul mentioned. Mm-hmm. Now you are the the offering. You are your yourself is the sacrifice to yeah. God. Then must be intentionally you mm-hmm. uh, take care of your body to make sure that this is good. For God, you know, to to offer to God and is is sanctify, you know, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's that's the the the, the point also yeah. that we can. Get. We, we used to have a lot of discussions over a, hey, uh, is this white lie okay, you know, a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, it yeah. all right? Mm-hmm. Uh, to what extent is it okay? To what extent is not okay? Mm. So I think in God's kingdom there isn't grey. There is white and black. It's no, it's a no. It's a yeah, yes, it's a yes. But right? say, right? It's hard, you it's yourself. hard. It's very hard. It's very, very hard, you mm. know. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, we just need to be intentional. Lah. Yes. Being hard also is uh, counter-cultural, right? Yes. Jesus is really counter-cultural. Mm-hmm. And you can see here, like the lawsuits. Paul says, you know, why don't you be wrong? You know, why don't you... Yeah make the sacrifice and be the one that loses out why you know in that sense why do you have to be the one to win you know even if you're right why can't you you know just give in right very it's it's like husband and wife 
every time. <laughs> I always find that I'm right all the time, but I will give in. <laughs> I give in. Both, hopefully both give in lah, huh? No one give in, one give up. <laughs> give up one is this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I think it's, yeah. Uh, I think there's a few things that we, 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 we can grab from this, huh? Uh, Maybe uh, one thing is that uh, we really have to be very conscious and aware and intentional how we live our life. Yeah. Uh, not only because it will be a living testimony to other people, but it's also it's for God to use us yes. yeah, as a channel of blessing for His instruments. Mm -hmm. And He wants it, like you say, holy and pleasing yeah. to Him. And also, I think the other side also that uh, we also need to speak out the truth to guide the, those who among us that maybe still live and walk in the sinful life to guide them back. Yeah, to take a courage lah, though it may be difficult yeah. to take a courage uh, to, 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 to guide them back and then grow together. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming and sharing, Lucas. Any last word you want to share with us? Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Can uh, catch up with us and dwell, and we hope that uh, today uh, some uh, these sharings and can help uh, all of us to continue to grow deeper in the Word of God and inspire us even to go further and greater for Him. Yes. Thank you. And maybe let me close with prayer. Father Lord. Uh, Give thanks for this time that we can come together this even short time to just to uh, dive into your words, Father Lord. We pray that uh, uh, that we will continue to grow in you, Father Lord. Let your Holy Spirit guide us to walk according to your words, Father Lord. And also we pray that as a church, Father Lord, we can stand together to sanctify ourselves that we can be used for the work of your kingdom and bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so Amen. much. See you in the next Bye. Day. God bless. Bye.